Hi everyone, so I'm here with my big back to school video for all you high schoolers, middle schoolers, and even college students out there who are watching this. Um, this is going to be some tips and tricks on how to put a spin on the classic everyday look that I've done so many videos on. Um, some recommendations I have from the drugstore and from high-end stores. Um, some great back to school hair tips. Just all of that jazz to help you guys out prepping with your first day of school. If you want an advice video of how to like, um, what's it called? How to like get through high school. Um, I can definitely do that. I'm going into college for all you guys that don't know that already. So I will be a college freshman, which is crazy. So I'm going to start off with hair first. As you guys can tell from this intro, I don't have any makeup on. So um, I'm literally starting from top to bottom, like from start to finish. So here we go. I just curled this first and a lot of people like to do that little French braid like on the side of their hair where the there is more hair, but I like to do it on the opposite side. I know that's not a crazy revelation or anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys how to do that real quick. So I'm gonna like twist on your average on this side of your hair it's on the that was it really <laughs> okay and then for makeup I will do a tutorial after I talk about the products that I want to talk about I have a bunch of quads and um, palettes from the drugstore that I want to recommend to you guys if you haven't heard about them before if you've never watched a YouTube video this is like your first one for some reason um, I have some tips and tricks for you guys so um, some trios that I really recommend from the drugstore, we have Wet n Wild's Walking on Eggshells, which I've talked about plenty of times before. I've done a tutorial on it too, so I'll link that down below as well. But this one has really, really pretty colors. Um, yep. So this one's called Walking on Eggshells from Wet n Wild. This is a great basic starter palette. We also have Shimmering Sands from CoverGirl, and this one has a um, similar sort of, you got a light, medium, and a dark shade, and it's, just, it's great for the, the starter girl who just wants a little bit of eyeshadow to start off her makeup collection, so good stuff. And then we have a cooler tone version. This one is called Smoke Alarm from the new CoverGirl shadows, um, and this one is, yeah, it's called Smoke Alarm, and it has three different colors, and they are light, medium, dark, and then they're just sort of cooler toned, so... That's that. And then I don't know if they sell this anymore, but this was a little palette I got a while ago from Airy. It's their Radiant Eye Shadow Palette in the color Bear. And it comes with five shadows. And um, the shadows I'm really going to refer to would be these three. So I'm going to keep the face makeup really simple and easy. Really not a lot to it. I'm going to take a really cheap drugstore cover stick that I'm a huge fan of. And I think it's awesome. It's from Wet n Wild. It's their cover all cover stick and I am the shade 304. You can find this really easily any place. I like this one better than the NYC one, just to let you guys know. Um, so yeah, I really like this stuff. And we're going to apply this under the eyes in a specific shape. So we're not only just going to apply it under the eyes like, uh, you know, you normally would. You would think if you have dark circles, apply it under the eyes like a that was my eyeball. Okay, in a little ring. Um, but we're actually, after applying it in that ring shape, we're going to go down towards the end of the nose like this and then connect it. To I'm going to use one of my favorite foundation and concealer brushes and just blend out this concealer with both sides. Um, but you could just use a plain concealer or a plain foundation brush to blend any of these products out. Um, after this, we're going to set that concealer. I'm using a sheer pressed powder. This one is from Maybelline. Um, and yeah, I'm using a little powder brush. This is the one I like to use, but you can use any generic powder brush. This one is, I think, from TJ Maxx. It's, it's literally like a cheapo, like little synthetic one. It's nothing big deal, you know, like huge deal. No big shot over here. <laughs> so we're going to apply the powder under the eye. And then anywhere else we applied concealer. So to prime the eyes, I'm just going to use a typical primer, the one I always use every day. This one is from Sephora. You can't purchase it anymore, but really anything will do. Um, yeah, this 
guys, not the best primer in the world, honestly, but I use them because I have them and I should use it up anyways, so that is my reasoning behind that. So I'm going to go over the whole entire eye. We're not doing anything too dramatic, but this is a full face, natural looking look. We're not saying that there's no makeup involved, just to let you guys know. It's not how to get the no makeup look, because that would be done right now. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take a white eyeliner pencil. This one is from Sephora. It's just like their typical white little eyeliner. And I'm going to apply this to the inner corners because I want the shadow to really stick there. And then we're going to bring that into the inner lids. See that? And then we're just going to blend that out real quick. And don't forget the lower lash lines as well. So that's what we look like right now. And then I'm going to put the eyeliner away. And we're going to go into the CoverGirl palette right now. Yay, the exciting part. So we have the three shadows. I'm going to start off with this a medium shade right here and taking a flat shader to pack that onto the lid. So as you guys can tell, there is a sheen right now, um, as I had warned you guys. And I'm going to go above the crease. I have been... People have commented, why do you do that? That doesn't look right. Um, I do it because my eye shape is not the same as a Caucasian person. A little crease brush right now. We're going to take that shadow and start in the outer corner. And just start working that into the crease area. We're adding subtle definition and darkness to the look. I know this seems a little weird, but I'm going to go along the um, outer crease area to sort of buff out the color. And then I'm going to apply the rest as a highlight shade on the brow bone area. Using the little um, sponge tip applicator that they have given us, I'm going to go into Kitten and apply that to my inner corners. But you can use any liquid liner, literally. Um, I have a lot out right now, but I'm just using this one for now. So we're going to apply that onto the upper lash line. So I made a thin line at first just in case I didn't want to make it any thicker, but I do want to make it thicker, but you can totally leave it like this if um, thick eyeliner is not your style, um, which I totally understand. So I'm going to start to wing it out right now. So I'm going to zoom in a little more so you guys can get a closer look at that eyeliner. Okay, you guys can already tell I look so much different with this eye makeup. It's not that it's extremely heavy because you can really barely see it, but I think it just it makes a difference in terms of how put together you look and how um, it looks in pictures and all of that jazz. So I'm going to take a light, light, sheer pink blush from MAC. This one's Pink Swoon. And we're just going to go into that with a 
flat top brush and then smile. And you really want to just emphasize the rosiness in your cheeks and just look happy and fresh for your first day of school. I'm dabbing this in a lot. I know my brush probably looks really pink. It's just this blush is so sheer, so yeah. Just gonna let you guys know why. I'm taking my favorite stain. This one is from It Cosmetics. It's their um, Vitality Lip Blush, and we're going to apply that to the lips. That is really it for the completed hair and makeup for the first day of school look for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Leave any requests you have down below. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. I love you guys.